Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about what the apoptosis is and how does it happen in the normal cells and how cancer cells avoid this programmed cell death. So let's get in. Apoptosis is a programmed cell death. Simply, it's a death to a normal cells by a specific and a defined way. The apoptosis process occurs in high efficiency in a normal person who doesn't have the cancer disease. Compared to a cancer patient, apoptosis has a great defect and doesn't occur in a normal way. Now we need to ask why this process happens, why normal cells die, or to be more specific, why normal cells commit suicide. Every day our DNA is exposed to a lot of mutations which may damage our DNA. But fortunately we have a defense mechanism called repair mechanism which can repair this DNA damage. But imagine with me, this repair mechanism cannot repair the DNA damage. It leads to increase the number of mutations which may convert the normal cells into a cancer cells. So, normal cells now commit a suicide or to be more specific epiptosis to avoid this transformation from happening. There are two pathways the normal cells can pass to form the apoptosis process. The first one is the intrinsic pathway, which means that the initiation of the apoptosis process started by the internal signal, like DNA damage. And the second one is the extrinsic pathway. And this happens when a signal came from the outside the cell and attached to its receptor and forced this cell to die. Let's start by the intrinsic pathway. The DNA damage is the main initiation factor of the intrinsic pathway. Once DNA damage happens, B53 is activated. What is B53? B53 is a one of the tumor suppressor proteins. Who are tumor suppressor proteins? They are a group of proteins that regulate the cell division and inhibit the uncontrolled cell growth by two ways. The first one is to stop the cell cycle or cell division and give a time to the repair system to repair the DNA damage. And if the repair system doesn't able to repair the damage, the tumor suppressor proteins force the cells to enter the apoptosis. Once B53 is activated, it will activate proteins like Pax, Noxa, and Bruma. One of these proteins, let's say Pax, this Pax will move toward the mitochondria. Inside the mitochondria, there is a protein called cytochrome C. This cytochrome C cannot leave the mitochondria into a cytoplasm. Why? Because there is a guard called BCL2, which is localized to the outer membrane of the mitochondria, which prevents cytochrome C from leaving the mitochondria. Once Pax moves to the mitochondria, it will interact with BCL2 and inhibit it. This leads to change in the permeability of the mitochondrial membrane or poor formation on the mitochondrial membrane, which leads to the movement of cytochrome C from the mitochondria into cytoplasm. Once cytochrome C present in the cytoplasm, it will interact with another protein called APAF, and both cytochrome C and APAF1 will form a complex called epeptosome. The function of this complex is the activation of another enzyme called caspases. The first caspase activated is caspase 9. By convert the pro-caspase 9 or the inactive form of caspase 9 into a caspase 9. Once caspase 9 is activated, it will activate caspase 3 or 6 or 7. Caspase 3 is responsible for the activation of nuclease. What is the nuclease? Nuclease is an enzyme which its function is the degradation of the nucleic acid, such as DNA. In normal case, nuclease is inhibited by inhibitory protein, which prevents the nuclease from from doing its job. So Cas base 3 will inhibit this inhibitory protein to set the nuclease free. So now nuclease is free and moves into the nucleus and the degrade the DNA and thus the cell die. The second pathway is extrinsic pathway. This happens when a signal came to attach to the receptor of the cell. Once this happens, Cas base 8 will be activated. Cas base 8 has two ways to perform the apoptosis. The first one is directly activate Cas base 3, which again will activate the nuclease by inhibiting the inhibitory protein. And the second one is the activation of BED. This BED protein, once activated, it will activate the PAX. And again, PAX inhibit the BCL2 and cytochrome C goes out from mitochondria into cytoplasm and again continues the same pathway. How cancer cells avoid this programmed cell death? How cancer cells avoid apoptosis? Cancer cells increase the internal pH of the cell from 7.2 into 7.5. When pH increases, the activity of cytochrome C decreases. Even if cytochrome C now in cytoplasm, its activity near to zero and doesn't activate the Cas basis and thus there is no epiptosis. That's all we have in epiptosis lecture. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.